Okay, in this video we're checking out the Volantix uh, Mini Train Star, it's another small micro airplane uh, with gyro stabilization. It has uh, three modes, just like in the other Volantix microplane. It's got the beginner, intermediate, and expert modes on a switch. Uh, three channel operation, just have rudder and elevator. This is a lot smaller than the other one. Uh, there's no wind right now. I had to wait for a day, there was pretty much no wind because this thing is very, very light and very small, so it's going to be bounced around by the wind pretty easily. So go ahead and get this up in the air, we'll see how this flies. Okay, checking the control surfaces, right, left, up, down. And arming the throttle. You can hear the uh, gyros moving here. Keep, it's going to keep this level and prevent it from crashing. Akaritala is pretty easy to fly. You can really bang on the sticks I'm all the way over. And it just keeps it nice and level. Pretty small battery in this one. It's like 180 milliamp hour LiPo. Doesn't seem like it has a lot of power though. This is probably not going to be very acrobatic even in expert mode. There's hardly any wind at all. And you can see it's very I don't know, it's hard to explain. It gets bounced around quite a bit. There's a little bit of a breeze. This thing is really light. I think it's like 40 grams. So I'm still in the uh, beginner mode here. So let's, uh, let's pop it up into the intermediate mode. So we're going to get more, more angles, more bank angle. Should be more responsive. Yeah, the elevators, we're much more responsive now. Yeah, well now the wind's starting to pick up. I think that the, this toy controller is kind of a limiting factor in terms of this being sort of a more hobby grade RC airplane, this is definitely toy grade. If maybe you could con control this with a more hobby grade transmitter, get a little more stick resolution, do, you know, change the expo and rates and stuff like that, that might be, make this a little bit more controllable. It's kind of difficult to control actually in the intermediate mode. It's a little, it's almost a little bit too responsive. I have to, so if you're a beginner and you want to be banging on the sticks here, uh, yeah, stay in the beginner mode. All right, let's try the expert mode. Oh, it's really responsive in the expert mode. Oh yeah. All right, I, just, <laughs> I can tell that, uh, yeah, so as I thought, flying it in the expert mode, with the toy, toy, sort of toy grade gimbals, it is difficult because you don't have a lot of uh, center stick resolution. It's kind of hard to explain. I'm finding that you know a lot of these toy grade airplanes with the stabilizer on there, I think, are pretty much really meant for flying in the beginner mode only. And this uh, doesn't fly anything like a larger plane, like a hobby grade, hobby grade. RC airplane in the uh, expert mode. I think it's because of the controller. And the fact that it's also very light and small. This is, this is uh, I used to fly uh, something called the um, Sport Cub S a few years back at a stabilizer kind of like this. It was, I think it was four channel operation with ailerons. And that one uh, you could fly with a hobby grade transmitter. And that one had a little bit more control than this. But in beginner mode, this is just as easy to fly as that one, and much this is much cheaper. I think it's like $50. The, the Hobby, uh, Hobby Zone Sport Cub S was around $150. Pretty big price difference. So if you're just a beginner, you know, flying this in beginner mode is totally fine. But I think that if you're going to be upgrading later 
to something a little more hobby grade after you want to learn how to fly this, uh, which I, I would recommend moving up to something more expensive. I, I, I might be getting some more stuff later. I think I'm going to be getting something from XK. It's going to be a little more expensive, like $80. I think that one has a better controller than this one. This is, this is definitely on the budget end. But I mean, no real complaints. I mean, it flies fine. You can turn left, right. It's got decent elevator control in beginner mode. Can't really complain too much. I got these uh, soccer uh, goals here in my waist. It's, uh, can't really fly too close. The uh, soccer field is totally wet with condensation right now, so I don't want to go out there and I don't want to crash. Yeah. Right now I'm just, uh, I just have the stick over like this. I'm not even flying it really. Just a little bit of up elevator and right, full right stick. I'm not sure if we're going to get both of the controller and the plane in shot. It's, that's how, pretty much how easy it is to fly. don't really know what the flight time's like. I've, I imagine maybe on this 180. Uh, it's a pretty small lipo, probably 10 minutes. I would say 10 minutes at the most. And this is a common battery, the micro low C connector, so you ought to be able to get a lot, plenty of these batteries and pretty much anywhere. I've got tons of these from other uh, RC models I've had, so, and they're pretty cheap. Yeah, I've seen them as low as two, three dollars per battery, so you can definitely take a bunch of these out to the park and uh, fly this for a long time, really. Yeah, I mean, uh, this flies pretty much like the uh, other, other one, the uh, 761, the Ranger 600 that I flew here, about, I think it was last week. Pretty similar. This one's a little bit more, getting a little more bounced around, so I definitely would recommend not flying this in any kind of strong wind. This, this one will not fly well in strong wind. Calm day like this is okay, and even on a calm day like this, it is getting kind of bounced around. But with that gyro stabilizer in there, it really does keep it in the air and, and keep it flying nice and straight. But yeah, it's uh, definitely, you can see the, the stabilizer doing its work. Nearly hit the soccer goal there. Nearly hit that one too. We're living dangerously. I just uh, I didn't notice until now just now that the, the wings have these little struts on the other underside, kind of hold hold I guess giving the wing a little bit more stability. See how this thing lands. It's dropping the throttle. Oh yeah, that's pretty common with the uh, the gear like this. It's pretty hard to land it where it's going to roll. The takeoffs are going to be kind of challenging too. This the the rear wheel is not turning so. Nice. Let's try that again. Nice low pass here. I'm getting a little bit more confident in controlling this. Just circling in the soccer gate here. <laughs> Yeah, it's really just elevator and throttle control here. Oh, almost landed at that time. I think if uh, the wheels would have touched the ground, that would have just flipped right over. Oh, I can think. I think the battery is already starting to run out. Surprisingly, you can kind of 
Here the motor slowing down a little bit, so I think it's going to be time to land soon. Woohoo! Yeah, so if you got some skills, you could probably fly us in a smaller area. Definitely, definitely could fly us indoors if you wanted to. Yeah, I got almost full throttle now, so I think it's time to bring it in and land it. So I'm just gonna cut the throttle here. Yeah, let's just flare it up. Oh, yeah, now, yeah, the, the, the way these wheels are, it's just gonna flip over. I think if I was on some concrete or something, maybe it won't flip over. Try one more landing. I think after this, the battery is going to be toast. All right, cutting the throttle. Nope, no go on the landings. I think you got to land on like concrete or asphalt, something not grass, because these small wheels just get caught up and just flips over. But, you know, no damage, of course. Yeah, flies pretty good. I like it. Anyway, that's going to do it for this review of the uh, Volantix Mini Train Star. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's a fun plane for, for the price, I think. If you're trying to learn to fly for a airplane, definitely would recommend it trying it out. It's, and, but I would stick with beginner mode. It's pretty hard to fly in intermediate and expert mode because of the small size and the weight. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.